Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm here to share with you some messages from the Lord, especially one, this one from Roxanne. Oh my goodness, wait till you hear it. It confirms what the Lord told me about multiple raptures, or rather, harvests. Okay? Because the third one is not a rapture. Okay. First, though, we're going to go with Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marsha Burns. Now, this is for somebody. You continue to fuss over things that you have no control over and get irked at people who do not meet your expectations. It might refer to me, too. I guess maybe sometimes that's true. But I say to you, refuse to become irritated about things that really do not matter. In the long run, give others the same respect and consideration as you desire for yourself. When you sow goodness, you will reap the same. Sometimes, Lord. He says, Matthew 7, 2. For with what judgment you judge, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. I got I to gotta take that back because I have found that... The, there are some people here. I'm just using my little living community as an example. There's probably 80 apartments, maybe 75, 75. That most have one person. Some have a, a married couple. Uh, no, maybe we don't have any more married couples here. The last ones moved out. The ones before them died. Okay, yeah. Anyway, um, let's read it. Uh, wait, I'm sorry. Jumping ahead of the gun here, aren't I? All right, so, and I found that the people that were kind of mean, snappy, um, when I was just super nice to them, even though I know they're lost, they're lost forever now, but it's so, you know, I can't say it's okay, but I'm still going to treat them the way I want to be treated. And they end up talking nicer to me, you know, the next time I see them instead of, yeah, good morning to you too, you know, or something. Because some people have problems, you know, they're in pain. They, they don't want to hear good morning from cheerful, you know, they're not feeling very cheerful. <laughs> but anyway, I'm sure some of you can relate. <laughs> if Well, anyway. So the this scripture holds true. All right, I'm going to um, go on <laughs> to the next one before I say too much. <laughs> All right. Lessons learned. Wow. Lessons learned. Warning from above. Roxanne. This confirms what I received. It confirms what I've been saying lately. Um, teaching, trying to. Uh, so I hope, I pray that you will... Um, I hope you're hearing this all right. I know I don't. <coughs> oh, wait. Sorry. Oh, I forgot to put... Well, it's laying right here, so maybe it was working just fine. All right, let's begin. Message received September 19th through the 20th. It's pretty long. 2021. My children, as the world becomes more evil, are your studies deepening? And are you steadily seeking? Do you now understand? My Holy Spirit was imparted during the days of Paul. Since then, it is the same yesterday and today. And there are scripture references below that I will post in the description box for you to look up. I'm sure the first one is in reference to this because it's in Acts. Since the days of Paul, who has changed? Mankind. This is the time of mysteries revealed, revelations fulfilled, my word revealed. My word is my bond, children. These lessons, many very difficult, are to prepare you for what is coming. And then this person adds the insight he gave into this statement. 
The degree of difficulty comes from where you were living. From where you were living. Or maybe they mean are living. Were you living in sin? Were you living with hellions? You see, I'm not sure. Does it mean were or are? Time is extremely short. Now, this person adds, Please do not tire of hearing this. He could be waiting on you to repent of unacknowledged sin or someone you love dearly on earth. I don't know that I agree with this person on this interpretation here because I think the Lord, the Father God had the date set in stone long before. I could be wrong. I just think they know who's going to accept and who's not and when this when he needs to pull the bride out, he already has a plan. I don't think he's delaying and I don't think he's uh, day by day going, well, should I let him go get his bride today or not? No, I think I'm going to let him wait. We need a couple more people saved first. Do you think God's doing that? I don't. I think he knows exactly who's going to accept him in time or not. I think he has a date already picked. Endure for them, this person says, because you were once there, because they are worth it. They are worth it to all God's children. Okay, I'm going to skip what that person said, okay? Let's go to the message. Continued. This is not all for naught. See, we can hear from the Lord and have to ask our elders or brothers and sisters in Christ, look, I got this word from the Lord, but part of it, I'm not sure I understand. You see? Or a dream. You might get a dream from the Lord and need help with interpretation. It doesn't mean you're not hearing from the Lord, okay? Because you don't understand it completely. Or you interpret it a little, maybe not completely correctly. I'm just going to throw that out there. This is not, he said he was waiting. Remember before the person started adding in, he said, uh, the degree. Time is extremely short. Okay, let's skip from that. This is not all for naught. This is for my purpose and glory. This will be revealed over time. The coming months and years for some. Okay, see, some will go like any day now. Some will come in coming months. What did I tell you yesterday? I'm praying that maybe I'm right about that. Palm branches representing Passover for the multitude too large to number. I hope, I pray that, I hope it's right. I can't pray it because that might be praying against Father's will. I don't know what day it will be or when. And years for some. I have a feeling this is in reference to the third group. Let us move on. Time is short. But there is time allotted to accomplish my plan over a short span of years. Remember the harvests? Remember the parable of the wedding? Matthew 22, 1-14. That's probably down below. Parable of the water into wine. John 2, 1-12. I come for you as you have prepared to meet me. First watch, parentheses, barley harvest. That person added this, but wait until Jesus says it too. Second watch, wheat harvest. And third watch, grape harvest. Okay, now note what this person adds in is in parentheses. The first watch, second watch, and third watch. Oh, she forgot to close this one off. The word harvest. And third watch, grape harvest, which are for my proud ones. The grape harvest is for the proud ones. They're too prideful to repent. Those children will go through much because that is where they are. That is where they are in their watch or walk with me. They're nowhere near ready to die and go to heaven. But he's going to preserve them to go through the great tribulation until it's time for the grape harvest, which is martyrdom. All right. If some are taken and you remain, 
As long as you seek me, you will receive this plan and understand it. That's what I was trying to get across the other day or yesterday, whenever it was. I hope you saw that video where I was trying to explain not everybody's going in the first escape, the first rapture, the taking away, the going outside of time. So, but you don't have to give up and 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 think, oh, woe is me! How am I got? Wow, I got to go through some tribulation. Oh no! You don't do that. You trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, you acknowledge Him. And he will direct your paths. It's Proverbs 3. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, I think. I'll try to remember to make sure. that. Well, see, here I got. See, I got scriptures pulled up for another teaching. Let me look that up. I hate to give a scripture. Well, I don't like making the videos too long, but I don't like saying a scripture and not giving reference either. All right, let me look. Proverbs. Let's do quick nav. Quick nav. Quick nav. Come back. I want to make sure I'm right. Proverbs. Because I've been saying that one for years. Three. Yes. Five and six. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. That holds true for today as much as it did to this the writer of these Proverbs, which is probably Solomon. Uh, not sure. I think that's right. But anyway, it's moving on. Let's click out of that. Whoops. Where was I? Not there. Uh-oh. What did I do? Oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. Be Bear with me. I know what I was doing. Reading you this. All right. Trust me, children. This is where you must be with me. Trust me. I love you. Please get that into your hearts. I will never abandon you. I will never leave or forsake or forget you. That is not how the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords treats his bride. Now, that might be speaking to those who are thinking, why are we still here? <laughs> okay, Lord, that's me. Get Nancy, you know. Um, but then some of you that are left might be saying that too one day soon. And he's not going to, he's not going to leave you or forget you. Your Holy Spirit is still in you. Okay? You just means you weren't right. You're not right in some area. You haven't been willing to admit you have demons that need to go. Don't worry. We'll be back and help you kick them out. All right. There's still time to do it, though. Um, that is not how I am. Let's see. She, the bride is his most cherished possession. She must get her heart and mind into alignment of that. My most treasured possession. Brides, do you know who you are? Do you know that you are his most treasured possession? There is a short pause or delay. Then more destructive judgments worldwide are coming. More destructive judgments worldwide are coming. That means... Some are here. I have strategically placed my children in places of safety. I do tell all of you. Now, I thought about that a minute. And I'm like, well, yeah, Lord, you have. You gave me a lot of messages. I haven't gotten any lately. But he did give me the about the barley harvest, the grape harvest, the wheat harvest. That was one message. Later, he said that the bride would go and some others. And I'm fixing to do a teaching on that. I hope you'll catch that too. All right. Do not love your lives more than me. Soon, a large group of you will come home quickly. Those left do not weep. 
Celebrate the finished work of your brothers and sisters. Pray for the wicked ones who will also leave in this judgment. So something terrible will happen at the same time the rapture of the bride. We don't exactly go home. I mean, not for good. We, cause he told me and many others have gotten this, that we're coming back as his warrior bride to kick demons out of people who haven't gotten around to it or didn't know they needed to. Heal people, because some people will be hurt from this judgment. I, I have seen myself, not, not literally in a vision, but just imagined it vividly, putting a limb back on someone and it just... There it is, back good as new, a good as new arm. Or healing a big gash in their side, just put your hand on it, or over it, it's healed. Or casting demons out, and feeding people with a little bit of food that you find, and multiply it like Jesus did, because he said, greater things than these shall you do. All right, and that is yet to come. Some, oh, this, this, <laughs> I was so, I was like, oh, yeah, Lord. Okay, he says, pray for the wicked ones who will also leave in this judgment. Well, I, I guess he means pray that they will repent while they still have time so that when they die, they won't go to hell if it's not too late for them already. You know what I mean. Some will be going about their days, suddenly be in a different dimension. Be ready at all times. Watch for me continually. That is a confirmation of what Kathy and Dan on Grafted in Team Jesus received. And a couple other messengers. People that they no longer recommend because they have other things in error. But they got from the Lord. There will be a time loop at the time when it happens. All of a sudden, you'll be in a different dimension. You'll be, you might be, it's hard for me to describe, but, but Kathy showed uh, streams from this lady's channel. Uh, her, she does really good work. Shauna from uh, Changing, change, something Changing. Some of you probably know who I'm talking about. Sorry, I can't remember her name. But, um... Shauna is her name. She put together, she would find pictures to describe like it was like a tornado. She said it was like things were whirling and her daughter had the same dream about the same time. A few days apart, maybe. She has a young early teenaged daughter I believe she's like 13, 14 maybe she had the same kind of dream dogs would change into cats your job you'd be working at maybe a cookie factory next thing you know you're serving as a waitress just like that okay it's very hard to comprehend but that's what this is talking about suddenly be in a different dimension be ready at all times. Watch for me continually. Don't freak out. Know that it's God and He's in control. In my mercy, I will be calling some of my very weary children home in this large event. In other words, they're not the bride, but they're going. They're gonna. They, they're calling them home. Will they be raptured, or He's gonna allow you to die quickly, mercifully? one or the other they say peace and safety I say I come to judge the wicked ones they say eat drink and be merry I say watch and see I am coming with a sword I am coming as a lion not a lamb in case you are wondering there is still time to prepare for what is coming, even a babe, he means a babe in Christ, you're just newborn believer, you love Jesus now that you know you're saved because he died on the cross for you and you're 
anxiously getting into the Bible now and wanting to learn, learn, learn. He said, even a babe can prepare if they come to me and are all in, no reservations. In other words, you're the only one in your family that has not given himself over to the new world order or herself. You have not given up on God. You have not pridefully refused to... How do I put this? You're... You're still looking to God. Let's just read the message. Even... I prayed before I started. Lord, don't let me say any... Add anything that is not of you. So I'm going to stop right there. Even a babe can prepare if they come to me and are all in. No reservations. No holding on to idols. Come, taste, and see that the Lord is good. There are many facets or layers in the coming days. Multiple judgments. Multiple results. How they react is by their own free will. How they react. I guess that means people that go through these judgments. It's their own free will. God will not force you to repent. He will not force you to accept deliverance and healing if you don't want it. Pray for the unsaved, the lost. What you say and do has affected people in multifaceted ways and will continue to. My warriors know this. See, why would he call us warriors if we weren't coming back? Well, spiritual warriors and prayer warriors, we're, we're that now. So that may be what he's referring to. My warriors know this. I need my entire body to understand this too. He's making a, a, a difference there. He's got warriors, and then there's the rest of the church. Not yet altered. Let's put it that way. Discernment and wisdom will be critical in the coming days and times. Be very, very wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. Remember, people do not always need to know what you think. Silence goes a long way. Silence goes hand in hand with wisdom. A simple nod will do. Keep your friends close. Keep your enemies closer. Keep praying for their souls and some will become your best allies. Clearly, this is not talking about those who are, it's too late for them. You get my drift? More so than family you thought you could trust. Remember, the enemy has seized this world. What is up is down. What is good is bad. You, my children, know the truth. Do not go along to get along. Rather, remove yourselves from society as times become more evil. Those who still work or must be out, it is critical for you to pray before you step out of the door. Wow. Critical, he says. My hand is over all things. I allow, and the person puts the enemy latitude in order to choose his judgments. Okay, I allow, my hand is over all things. I allow, choose my judgments. They probably shouldn't have done that. Is that part of the message? Did God say that or the person say that? I'm saying the person said that. But maybe the Lord said, I allow latitude. And they added to it. You pray for discernment on things like that. Okay. Um, 
But he does. We know for a fact he allows the enemy latitude. He lets him do what he's doing in order to choose his judgments. Well, and and also he's allowing he's allowing Satan to win on some levels because it is part of his judgment. Okay, choose. Let's see. I allow. Choose my judgments. I'm wondering if a word wasn't left out there on accident. You can be at the head of head with me, with me, or the tail of the dog with them. It is up to you. I created a free will world in hopes that mankind would love me back. Those who choose to follow me will be covered protected and warned even if you believe you are in harm's way remember i choose who rises and who falls choose me follow me before it is too late yeah see there's a typo so there are some typos in here i think there's a word missing back there follow me before it is too late Trust me, I will never mislead you. Lo, I come quickly. We are at the very end of things. Now, he doesn't give a signature like Yahushua HaMashiach or your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, but the wording is correct. Now, given with this message are all these scriptures, and you'll find them in the description box. All right, it's, it would be a good Bible study for you. I'm going to do it myself. All right, moving on. Soon something you will read will really affect you. It might have been what you just heard. It is a negative assessment of something someone is going through. Okay, something you will read. I did read these. I decided to share them all. Okay, something you will read will really affect you. It is a negative assessment of something someone is going through. Perhaps a bad medical report. You read it. Maybe an email they send you, perhaps, or a text message. It's for somebody. You need to get it out of your mind as quickly as possible. This is not the way it is going to happen in your case. Satan has set this up to cause you to fear and have dread of something ahead. Ah. Oh, like maybe, oh, I lost my job because they wanted, you know, me to do something I didn't want to do. Or so-and-so, uh, I don't know. I could think of many examples, but probably can't say them on YouTube, but. There's other things that could be said, and I just want to keep reading. I'm sure you can think of an example yourself, something negative you read or heard, and it and has, has it caused you some kind of fear or doubt or dread. He's saying, don't. This is not the way it's going to happen in your case. Satan has set this up to cause you to fear and have dread of something ahead. When it comes to mind, do not entertain it at all. This will send it away. This will send it away. Maybe he means this verse. I wondered about this one, but I decided to share it anyway. 2 Timothy 1, verse 7. In the New King James Version says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And that was put up by Bev Robinson. Given to, received by, whatever. This last one, I think it's the last one. Yep. Be so devoted to me while seeking my face that you get consumed with all that I am. Many times... Waiting on me is not easy. Boy, howdy, that's the truth. Wholeheartedly seeking me is worth the wait. Employing yourself 
of expectations is where I meet you. I'm sorry, emptying yourself. I'm sorry, Lord. <laughs> emptying yourself of expectations is where I meet you. Be completely still and know that I am. I am. Humility is undervalued today. Silence before me is golden. Treasure my manifestation of the here, right now. <laughs>